All right, now, here's what's actually pretty interesting about this game. Well, two things I've noticed. One, the emblem for this game that you see on the marketplace and on Xbox is actually the exact same as a uh, Darksiders 1, which I think is pretty cool and pretty interesting. But the second thing is that when you come back to the start menu, and I did take a break, basically it's showing the area that I'm in, and I'm not sure if that's by design or if that's just, you know, coincidence that I just so happen to teleport to this area and then quit, and it just so happens to be on the start screen. And it looks like it's not. <laughs> it's completely intentional. So anyway. That's definitely cool. Alright, what was I doing again? I was doing some quests. I don't remember. Oh crap, what am I doing? The Chaos Fangs, dude. They're amazing. These might be uh, the, the special DLC weapons. I don't know. Master of Karkinos. I can use it now. What is it? It's a hammer, it looks like. It's extremely big. It's so big, it glitches out of the camera view. And then there's just normal claws, which I'll probably sacrifice in a minute. Pauldron of the Horseman. Looks pretty impressive. Nomad's wraps are better. Alright. And that's it, right? The Maker's Key. Ooh, the Maker's Key. Alright, let's feed this. This is the this is the only possessed weapon I found so far, so I don't know. I don't know if there's, you know, more laying around or anything like that, but this is what I see so far. Alright. It's getting there. It's almost level seven. It's huge, dude. Alright, what's the objective in here? With, you know, gunshots for closing doors. And actually, hold on a second. I'm gonna take this cord out of my headset. Alright. There's a whole bunch of chests I didn't get. It's like the secondary objective. I don't know. The shaman's craft. Harvest a stalker's bone from a stalker. Oh, I just need to fight stalkers in here. Any stalkers in here? No. I just realized I could probably farm this from the overworld as well. Didn't it just say that? Just by finding normal stalkers. But since I'm here, I might as well have a look around. I might as well have a look around and go get those two chests I didn't open. One's across the way right there. There you go. Oh, now what the hell is this, man? Some statue I didn't interact with before. There you go. Chest plate, it looks like. There's also something in the statue's hands. Can I maybe jump on top of these and it'll make bring me high enough? I guess not. Got it! Nice, dude. I didn't think I'd be able to get it. Alright. Yeah, I think I killed everything in here, so it's not going to really help me. Ooh. I'll take this over the Vagabond's cover. I mean, I won't get the experience bonus, but I'll get more defense and health. 
and an actual chest plate instead of just a rope. loading now the second treasure chest I don't actually remember where it is so let me look it's down the door and into the next room It's over on the right, up in there. I didn't... Looks like... Oh, yeah! Remember I blew it open and I didn't check it? I forgot. I, I just realized I didn't check it. Here you go. It's a big chest. Damn! He has to freaking arm wrestle with it. Drop some good stuff. Alright, that's that. Let's, uh... Let's leave. Is there any other reason to be in the cauldron... Oh, find and kill Echidna in the lands beyond. Sounds like that's for a later world. I can't do it here. So anyway, the Hammer's Forge is in the Shattered Forge. And there's also stalkers in that area. So you know what? I think I'm going to go there. And I think I just realized Return to the Drench Fort is when I probably fast travel out of a, a, a dungeon. It lets me return there to where I was, which I'm not going to do. There's a chest there. The Fjord. Where was it? It was up here. Shattered Forge. Right? You can only have one dungeon waypoint per dungeon, but that's okay because I really don't care about the, the one I set, nor the one I just put down. Right, the Shadow Gorge. Back here trying to do some side quests. Right, we need to retrieve the hammer. And now look, everything is uh everything's alive it looks like, is it? Actually, I don't know about that. I bet that's the hammer right up there. Wait, water's flowing. But is that good enough? It's time you find something. What does the crow say? It says go way over there. At least that's what the crow said. It flew over here. I'm not sure if that means anything. I don't know, man. Can I climb this? It flew over here. This is just a waterfall. There's nothing down here. I don't know, I want to do this quest, but it looks like I can't do it so early in the game. I don't I don't see what it is in this room I'm supposed to do, and it led me over here. I'm 
nothing with that. Alright, so it still doesn't look like I can do this quest. So, oh well. It's just water, that's it. Yeah, I don't know. What's this? Black root. The fjord. There's a chest in there I couldn't get to. Alright, so maybe not. Maybe I can't do anything with it. So we'll put it on the back burner for now. And we'll head back to the Lost Temple. I mean, at least the quest is still there so I can come back later. Right, the nook. That is locked. It has it needs like a dragon key or something. This, on the other hand, I can work with. All right, more goods. Might as well set my main objective, since I won't be doing any of that stuff. Whoops. To move a mountain. Here they come. Well, here's the stalkers I need. As I figured, there are already some in here. in this room. Nothing. It's just a bunch of stairs and a chest somewhere. A hidden chest. Here we have another construct I can reassemble. That looks like it, though. <laughs> it rolls on a gigantic testicle. Let's go. Let me guess, it's gonna destroy this stuff, right? Yeah, I can just brute force right through it. Thank you. And now sit there for the rest of the game. Be a good AI. Why not? Why not just abandon you? Alright. Lion's heads are going to come out and attack me. Golem heads. <laughs> 